Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 18 Percentage and its Applications Exercise 18G Question 1. And what does this say? A sum amounts to rupees 1326 in 6 years at 5% per annum. A simple interest. In what time will this, will this sum double itself at the same rate of interest? So basically, it says that a sum. We do not know the sum for now. Right, so some uh, money, some amount of money, right, some, that is our principal, or you can say. So, our principal amounts to 1,326 in how much time? In 6 years uh, at 5% rate, right. So, the rate is 5%, time is 6 years, amount is 1,326. We do not know the principal, right. Now, it says this same uh, sum, right. The same sum, that is the sum that we don't know. That means the principal only. In what time will this principal amount to, uh, uh, sorry, double itself, right? At the rate of, is at the same rate of interest. So now it is asking us the time as well. And it is saying that this principal will double its value in some, uh, in some time. And that time we have to tell. And the rate will be the same. So first of all, here we need to find the sum. Then we will find our uh, time. Okay. So. In the first line, what all things do we know? What all things can we just, uh, you know, write down from the given line? That is the information. So first, we know the amount is 1,326. Then we know the time that is what? Six years. And we know, uh, we know the rate, right? And the rate is 5%, right? 5% per annum as well, right? Now, this is our three things that are given in the first scenario. Now, one thing which we do not know and which isn't given is the principle. Okay, so this thing we don't know. We'll find this out. Now, uh, think of something and see which formula can be applied here. The simple interest formula or the amount formula. So you see, we don't know the simple interest, neither do we know the principle. So using the simple interest formula will be wrong. So what we will do is we will use the formula for finding the amount. And what does the formula say? So that is amount equals to P in brackets 1 plus RT upon 100, right? You should learn the formulas thoroughly because these things you should know that which formula should be used where. And this is your intelligence and presence of mind which you apply at the time, right? Now, amount is now uh, substitute the values, right? So we know the amount is 1326. We know the principle is what, uh, we do not know the principle, right? So we take the variable here only, that is P. We will not replace it by any value. So uh, then rest will be 1 plus RT. So 5 into 6 upon 100, right? So um, we we'll just cancel this 5, cancel this 100, so 20 here. Then 6 and 20 will be cancelled. So what does this become? 3 and 10. Alright, so what do we get here? 1, 3, 2, 6 equals to principal in brackets 1 plus 3 upon 10. Right, so you can solve this up. I won't be doing the addition because it's pretty simple, right? So 1, 3, 2, 6, that is the amount, right? This side will be the same, nothing will change here because there is nothing to change here. Then P will be as it is. Okay, and then I will open the brackets. So you see, there is no sign between the brackets, no plus or no minus sign. This indicates that we have to do multiplication. Remember this. If no sign is there, then multiplication. Now, the brackets will be opened. So when you open the brackets, then you'll do the multiplication, not within the brackets. This is pretty common, right? Then you can add this up. So 1 upon 1 becomes 10 upon 10. 10 plus 3 becomes 13 upon 10, right? This is what you'll get on adding this. Now, we can solve this up as well, right? So what will happen? This 10 will go to this side. So it will multiply, right? So what happens? What do we get here? 1, 3, 2, 6 into 10 equals to and P into 13 is remaining here. So what happens? P into 13 will be written as it is, right? This is P, all right. Then now what we will do? Now last step is this 13 will come to this side, fine. So what will this become? 1, 3, 2, 6 into 10 upon 13 equals to the principal. Cancel this 13, cancel this 1,326, uh, 1, right? So 1, 0, 2. Now 1, 0, 2 into 10 up equals to principal. So 1, 0, 2, 0 equals to principal, right? So our principal is rupees 1,020, right? So this is our principal rupees 1,020. Now 
we have found out our principal and in the second uh, question it's a second part of this question it is in what time will this sum double itself at the same rate of interest so again here we have to find the time here the time was given but now what we don't uh, what we don't know is the time right this is what we have to find at the same rate of interest so the rate of interest which was here will be here as well because it is same so five percent per annum right and principal we already know principal is 120 now now you see that it says in what time will this sum double itself double itself means multiply by two twice of the number suppose 100 so double of 100 becomes 200 you multiply this by two right so same will be here so now this will be the amount right this will be the amount that will be the double of the principal right so the double of the principal becomes 120 into 2 uh, and that is 2 uh, 2040 right 240 so this is your amount okay uh, rupees 2040 now we know the amount and now we find the simple interest remember the formula for finding simple interest not the prt one but the shorter one that is simply amount minus principal so a minus p that becomes 2040 right a amount is 2040 so 2040 minus p principal is 120 and that will again give you rupees 1020 only right so this becomes our simple interest right and this was the amount this is the principal this is the rate now we know all the things for finding time see the formula for finding the time is what time equals 100 into simple interest upon principal into rate this is why i have found out the i have basically taken out the simple interest here otherwise i would have not taken it out right so now find the value so 100 into simple interest is 120 upon p into r so p is principal 120 again into r rate is five percent now 120 120 cancels itself then five goes one times hundreds go hundred goes 20 times why five only fine so at last what do we get the time as 20 years right so simply this becomes our final answer 20 years in 20 years this sum will double itself at the same rate of interest fine and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye, -bye.